Greetings, my friends. The Ring of Fire, you see it in the picture here, surrounding my video feed. It's a huge volcanic area, surrounds the entire Pacific, and it's been getting more and more active as of late. Now, I understand why volcanologists and seismologists would say that this is getting ready to erupt and bring volcanic destruction in the end of days. And now, besides many of those saying that, many Jewish rabbis are as well echoing the same thing, saying that this is also something that has to come to pass for Christ to come back and rule on earth. See, the, the, they don't understand, the Jewish rabbis uh, don't understand who Jesus Christ is yet. They still uh, believe in the Torah, but they are very uh, gifted men. They're very in touch with God through the Abrahamic, Isaac, and Jacob covenant. And they will find Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, though they don't know it. Many of them will get angry if you talk about Jesus right now, but they'll find him. They talk about the Messiah, but they don't understand who the Messiah is. Uh, and this stuff has to happen for the uh, redemption. But they'll understand soon enough who the Messiah, Jesus Christ, is during the tribulation when all these volcanoes do erupt and go crazy and the earthquakes go crazy and God saves a third of the Jews and hides them in Petra and Jordan is where I believe it will be at in the, in the mountain rock caves. And then it will all be said and done. But right now, we're having huge volcanic eruptions all over the Ring of Fire. Indonesia and earthquakes and volcanoes everywhere. And a huge chunk of volcano just fell into the ocean, in fact, and caused a tsunami <coughs> again in this region. And many geologists and volcanologists say we're entering a global period of increased seismic, seismic activity, which is going to end up being, again, destruction. And several rabbis, again, said they, they believe this is all necessary for the end of days that precedes redemption, which will be for them the millennial kingdom when Christ reigns on earth and they're saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood after they're protected in the tribulation and they understand the truth about Christ and God that they truly are one and the same and they mesh together the rabbis and the Jews will understand there's there are a lot of messianic Jews right now but there are many Jews who don't want to hear about Jesus Christ I still pray for them I'll still tell them about Christ it's their choice to believe what they want to believe but I pray they learn soon, sooner than later. So, all the stuff happening in the Ring of Fire, it's not the only place, but it's the biggest place. And as you can see, it hits many continents. If these things, if God decides to set these things off, and we have huge volcanoes and earthquakes and tsunamis everywhere, it, it will tie into the billions and billions and billions that will die in the tribulation and great tribulation that will die. Grotesque, awful, terrible, horrific deaths that I've been warning you about for the last 10 years. You can't say I haven't warned you. I've been doing it regularly for 10 straight years. Jesus Christ is our only hope, my friends. If you want to go in the imminent rapture and be out of this mess and nightmare before it starts, find Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you're a backslidden Christian or you don't believe you are, but hundreds of scriptures say that you can backslide. You must repent of your sins after you're saved. We're saved by grace alone. No amount of works can save us or keep us saved, but works and repentance are totally different animals. Repentance is a mandate from God separate from works. But pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video if you're in one of those two camps. No one's guaranteed in their second of your life. If you'd like prayer for anything, contact me. Pray for you every day without fail. I love you guys so much. I don't want to see anyone die and go to hell or be left behind in the tribulation. And I love you guys all. And I pray for you daily. May God bless you. Share this video and get the word out. We fly soon.